The National Broadcasting Company interrupts this program to bring you a special broadcast. President Truman has just announced that the Anglo-American and Russian armies have met in the heart of Nazi Germany. The juncture took place yesterday at 2 p.m. Eastern wartime at Torgau on the Elbe, 75 miles south of Berlin. Patrols had established contact the day before. The American 69th Division had the honor of enacting the historic meeting for our forces. President Truman issued a short 300-word statement. He said in the main, the Anglo-American armies under the command of General Eisenhower have met the Soviet forces where they intended to meet, in the heart of Nazi Germany. The enemy has been cut in two. This is not the hour of final victory in Europe, says Mr. Truman, but the hour draws near. He continues, the union of our arms has a meaning for the world which the world will not miss. It means first that the last faint desperate hope of Hitler and his gangster government has been extinguished. The common front and the common cause of the powers allied in this war against tyranny and inhumanity have been demonstrated in fact as they have long been demonstrated in determination. Second, the president says, the junction of our forces at this moment signalizes to ourselves and to the world that the collaboration of our nations in the cause of peace and freedom is an effective collaboration which can surmount the greatest difficulties of the most extensive campaign in the history and succeed. Finally, says the president, this great triumph of allied arms and allied strategy is such a tribute to the courage and determination of Franklin Roosevelt as no words could ever speak, and that could be accomplished only by the persistence and the courage of the fighting soldiers and sailors of the Allied Nations. But until our enemies are finally subdued in Europe, he continues, and in the Pacific, there must no, be no relaxation of effort on the home front. We return you now from Washington to the newsroom, NBC Newsroom in New York. You have heard the momentous news of the juncture of American and Russian armies, which cuts the remainder of the German Reich in two. Soon we expect to have for you first-hand accounts from London, from Paris, from the First Army Headquarters, and from the American Ninth Army. First, we hear from John McBain, NBC reporter with the American First Army. For his story, we take you to NBC in Western Europe. <laughs> 